So Checkmate 214 is a very important clinical trial. It's a, it's a phase three trial which pivoted um, combination immunotherapy against the standard of care which is a suitant in renal cell carcinoma patients. It's a very large phase three trial conducted all over the world uh, with roughly 1,000 patients participating. Uh, 800 of these patients were of uh, intermediate and poor risk. This tends to be a more challenging patient population and 200 patients were of favorable risk. The um, objective response rate was increased, um, clearly superior to SUTENT. 41% uh, of patients responded with very durable responses and more importantly, um, patients lived longer. Um, um, the risk of dying um, if you were exposed to the combination immunotherapy was reduced by 37%, uh, which is a very significant finding for intermediate and poorest patients um, and that finding held up when all 1,000 patients were analyzed as well. For the first time that we will be able to use um, an immunotherapy for the vast majority of patients in the front line. So since 2006, we have essentially used SUTENT or similar agents, uh, mostly VEGF inhibitors um, in the front line for kidney cancer patients. This is the first line we're using uh, immunotherapy, which has the potential to lead to very durable disease control um, for a number of patients. It's clearly very effective in the intermediate and poorest population, which by the way makes up roughly 75 to 80 percent of our kidney cancer patients. Um, we still have to um, um, analyze the data set for the favorable risk or good risk uh, patient population, um, which um, is a patient population that will do well almost no matter what we do. Most patients were able to receive all four doses, um, but there's a number of patients who had to um, stop therapy because of um, side effects. Around 20% um, of patients had to do that. Um, but patients who had to stop th side effects, they often could actually still derive um, durable benefit uh, nonetheless. However, it is a therapy um, that requires uh, expertise in the administration and the follow-up of these patients. I think a very important data set is that the quality of life um, across the patient population was superior to sunitinib. The combination of nivolumab and pilumumab will be a backbone and I think it will be um, also be the new standard uh, to compare a new combination therapy against. Um, so I think that um, uh, new drugs that want to uh, enter in the first line will have to consider this particular combination um, as a comparator uh, for clinical trial development. This is really exciting because this trial is actually very timely. Um, so we are very excited to see that uh, nivolumab epilumab combination is going to be uh, the new standard of care and one of the questions that we're asking is how can we make this therapy more effective um, and one of the um, um, uh, potential uh, ways to increase or improve the efficacy of immunotherapy is to use vaccination. It's very difficult to develop vaccines for individual patients so the approach could be to actually um, uh, use some of the patient's tumors inside the body and turn, turn it into a vaccine. Um, to that end we will actually, we actually radiate on this particular trial um, a tumor with uh, high doses um, of radiation um, that will kill the tumor cells, expose them to the immune system um, and essentially create an insight to vaccine in the patient's body and at the same time unleash the immune system. I started at Checkmate 214 in June of 2015. And I'm just rejoicing because our, our patients are going to have a first-line treatment that doesn't require them. It does come with some adverse reactions but now just in the, I think about the years that I've been on it, I mean, by the time it's approved, we'll have three years at least of good knowledge of what those medications do to patients. And we will be able to educate that population as to what to be aware of and to let the doctors know right away if they're suffering an adverse reaction so that they can dampen down the effects of the immunotherapy. So I'm thrilled that it's gonna be a first-line treatment.